Welcome, it's Jelly Cube and I'm here on the Sunshine Coast in Queensland, Australia. This is a large gallery wrapped canvas. Um, it's 61 centimetres by 61, so a really nice canvas that I'm doing a piece of art on to sell this one. Um, I have used in the centre there some of the PBO iridescent, um, which colour is this? Blue iridescent and the white, just shading with these um, little sponge brushes because I intend to have the centre as a um, negative space, believe it or not, but I want to you know, I wanted it to kind of be reminiscent of some sky, so I just basically did shading with this little brush like this, and um, with the two colours, yes, I'll just put a bit more on of this, I just want to I just sort of did this all off camera so the shading because time the, the video would be very long if I put everything in I suppose I could speed things up a bit but so I'm quite happy to yeah I kind of want this reminiscent of a sky and the flower garden is going to go around so you're looking through kind of into well we'll see how it turns up maybe nothing to what i'm actually going for so i just used the pbo i didn't add any pouring medium or anything that was just the with the sponge brushes so pop my brush uh, my sponge brush into some water and what i did because i want to keep my pattern on the outside here i went all the way around and uh, 150, yeah, 90 millimeters, 150, 150. I went in 150 all the way around and just put a little pencil mark there and a little pencil mark there, just so I keep the pattern, you know, so it's not all thin on one side, thick on another. Not that that usually worries me whatsoever. Um, but I just did that and that's what these little marks are here. It's just a little guide to keep my colours around this area. So that is the plan, man. And um, yeah, let's see how we go. I've actually got two cameras rolling today because I was worried I wouldn't get this whole canvas in. So I've got one to my left and I've got one right in front of me. So I've never done this before, but I might try and cut in different angles so you can, um, yes, confusing, or I might not. So I'll just go with the flow, literally pour my heart out, go with the flow. So we'll get those out the way. Now I pre-mixed all my colors up a couple of days ago, but we've had visitors and we've been out a lot so they've been sitting here in their in my little self-made cup container i just cover them over with a damp tea towel a damp cloth each day so i've come in this morning and stirred them all up and just added a little bit more water to them all so and the ooh, okie doke yeah i am of course are going with the bright and wonderful garden and um, so I want some nice bright colors now I've used two I've used the global impasto with my pouring medium if you haven't seen my pouring medium recipe that I've put out recently I will add a link and it gives a great pouring medium recipe for this particular art and ballooning but it can also be adjusted to any um, technique whatsoever and I've also used some of the high flow and I did a video on the high flow mixing it with glue. So um, I'm using both of those today and I have also got a good squirt of the iridescent medium in um, all my purple 
purples that I'm going to use, the purpley shades, just to give it that sparkle. So if you like sparkle, add that. Rightio, let's start. This one is the high flow, I believe, in the ultraviolet. This is a little bit runny, actually. It's a little, I don't like it runny for when you're gonna do balloon work, but I might just pour a little bit on the very edges here. Oh, and the other thing I've done is I've already gone round my edge there with the uh, Berry Delicious that I make. It's the custom color, Berry Delicious. So. I'll just go round here with that. Um, and then this is the Fluoro, High Flow Fluoro Pink with the um, same pouring medium that I've got in the drop down box. Now I'm just trying to keep aware of where I've got my little markers. So I get it all in the right spots, but I'm sure if you don't, you can always work around it somehow. It all works out in the end. So I'm really hoping that this canvas just pops pops your socks off. Isn't that, um, yeah, that, let me show you. The, that, got it in both of them. The fluoro pink, or the, flu, the fluoro pink in the impasto, and the fluoro pink in the high flow. So, delicious, delicious colors. Really stand out, popping, popping, popping. Okie doke, and then I have got my warm red in the impasto so i'm gonna put some of that in i'm gonna to try to keep my marker now i kind of <laughs> oh going all over the place like a hairy goat but anyway all good fun all good fun oh my goodness that purple with that high flow pink in it wow it is pretty out there okay we've got a beautiful sunny day here in Queensland um, really lovely 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 weather um, thinking thinking this is the ultraviolet in the um, impasto, so I'm going to put some of that in as well. So if I try and keep there, I'm trying to mark it off with some paint where I've got to kind of keep my lines. I haven't got to keep lines, but a guide that I don't want to go any further into the canvas than, so I want that bit looking out.
Okay, I am going to leave that now. I don't mind it's gone in, it kind of, it's giving the illusion, it will give the illusion of depth. I may just try and um, give my little low, just to soften some of those edges. And I'll just pour, this is just titanium white, Amsterdam tiny, titanium white mixed with Floetrol. This is a pretty runny mix, so it's hopefully just gonna help me get some lacing around these edges. So I'll just give it a try see how we go because I've got no wet paint under there so just to soften the edges a little bit. Might have to go around the other side. I don't want to turn this around. Oh dear. Or I might use the balloon up there. further up. Alright, I am going to just press a balloon in and see how we go. But I'm assuming, like so many people keep asking me that they getting can't get this balloon. It looks so easy and when they come to do it, they just can't get it. It goes to mud. It is all about consistency of your paint. So, your paint probably is better on the little bit thicker side for successful ballooning when you're first starting off until you get really used to doing it, um, I believe. So like there's way too much paint on there to do successful balloon kisses for a beginner um, because it's, it, it could turn to mud. So the best thing is, is to have your paints on the little bit thicker side uh, where's the consistency? Okay. Yeah, that's a little bit. It leaves a little, little trace in your cup, which I've got the, I've got a video there that I'm going to attach for you to do anyway. So yeah, and then walk away from it at this stage and leave it for a good, I don't know, even 40 minutes. Sometimes it could be an hour until you come back and the paint will have absorbed into your canvas and create a better surface for you to balloon kiss. This is just a, it's gone down. So I'm just gonna try and balloon kiss the one corner, then I'm gonna walk away and go and make myself a co coffee. Look at the colors. You can press this onto another canvas, absolutely. So you see how the colors are falling in and you definitely have got to press it in and uh, wipe it off or somewhere else because that's when you can get your paints go muddy if you just keep pressing in with the same colors. So wipe it off, press again. But um, I am going to just doing these bits on the edges that um, I haven't got some paint on so I'm transferring some of the balloon color onto the bits that haven't got paint. But if you keep pressing your balloon down and down and without wiping it, you will get the paint go muddy. So just keep your cloth or a kitchen roll beside you to wipe your balloon off or transfer it onto another canvas. So that is way too runny uh, at this stage. So I'm gonna walk away and leave it and I'm gonna blow a bigger balloon up 
So I'll have a bigger balloon, this size balloon, plus my tiny balloon. And then I will go around these edges, like creating a balloon edge, which is not showing real well because the paint is way too runny at this stage. So I'm gonna walk away, leave it for an hour, half an hour, and then I'll come back. I think I have absolutely gone overboard with my um, colour. I've gone too close in now and I haven't left really enough negative space. It's kind of um, closed in. Um, I got my bigger balloon and I started ballooning away and then realised my camera wasn't running, the battery had run out. So I've recharged, I've got the battery on charge. Um, and I've been ballooning and it's still very wet and I've left it about half an hour but I can't leave it any longer because we're actually going out so I'll be out and um, but I'm not happy with this bit I've let it allowed it to come in because I've got carried away I've put overloaded it with paint so yes even if you've done this a uh, million times you still make mistakes and I make them all the time because I'm only human I suppose um, so I'm just sort of pressing this balloon in actually wiping everyone off to get some of the heaviness of the paint off so I can actually go out and leave it knowing you know it's gonna be a little bit okay but it's not how I envisaged it because I wanted so much more of that blue showing through. So I will have to just walk away and leave this now. And um, I haven't continued with the small balloon and the medium balloon because I just, um, yeah, there's just so much paint on there. I mean, this is absolutely gorgeous and I know it's gonna dry beautiful. So I'm not sure what to do is just leave that little bit in there and um, see, I can't, if I go and pour more paint in there now, I think I'll really stuff it up and then I really will have wasted all this paint if I have to scrape it all off. So I am Probably after it's dried off, I can pretty up the edges with some acrylic pens and um, see how that works out. And, and yeah, see if I can really do anything a little bit more there. Or, you know, from a distance, it might give you that perception of kind of looking through this frame of uh, flowers. We will see next time i've got another canvas to do so next time i really am going to stick to just doing a small frame of um of wonderness around the edges so i will let this dry off and just finish off while i can before we go out and um and then you can wait on for the end results the photos at the end but I must admit, not happy at all with that, so... But what can you do? I've, I've made the mistake, my mistake, so... Um, I know what I should have done and could have done, but I didn't, so... We'll leave that one for now. Thank you so much again for joining me, and I'll be back again tomorrow. Take care, you guys. Hope that this bright and uplifting lifts you up too. So, bye for now.